Pastor Mark, the question is, should we prepare physically also for the Sunday law as much as spiritually? Should we prepare for the coming crisis that's going to come when no man can buy or sell? It's a very interesting question, and one has to understand the sequence here. So the Bible teaches that there's a little time of trouble that precedes the great time of trouble. So when, the, when church and state unite and a national Sunday law is enforced, there will be a time during that period where no man could buy or sell. During that, or, during that period of time, there will be opportunity for us to grow gardens, for us to... The National Sunday Law is the last call to leave the major cities. We are, we'll be living in remote areas and preparing in these remote areas for the coming of Christ. Then, as everybody has an opportunity to make their final decision from the time of the National Sunday Law, the Mark of the Beast, until the close of probation, then during that time, we do make physical preparation. But after the close of probation, when everybody has made their final irrevocable decision, when that ha once that has taken place, then we will no longer have to prepare because it's at that point that our bread and water will be sure. It's at that point that the angels will feed us. Um, you find that in the Bible very, very carefully. Uh, Isaiah 33, verse 14, uh, and uh, onward. It, it, it talks about the fact that, that uh, our bread and water will be sure. And so we can have confidence at that time that God's going to feed us.